Welcome back to another video and I couldn't ask for better conditions on the sea right now. I've just been out for a couple of hours here on my inflatable boat but let's get straight in to the video. So as you can tell by the title today's video we're going to be talking about the Great White Shark expedition which I now have confirmed dates, locations etc from O-Search coming to Europe searching for the Mediterranean and British Great White Sharks. We are confident that there's great whites swimming off the coasts of Spain, France, the UK and Ireland. Now we just need to go over there and prove it. And also a very brief overview of a shark sighting, a great white shark sighting apparently that all the media has gone wild with this week, which you've probably seen if you're watching this channel. So 88 days from the point of making this video, O-Search are going to move 4,000 miles from the northeast of the United States where they have tagged over a hundred great white sharks, bringing all that information research to Europe. Chris Fisher posted a video on their YouTube channel, which I'll link below, stating that they believe that they will be the first people to tag great white sharks in the Mediterranean. To date, there has never been a satellite tag of a great white shark from the Mediterranean. It's an absolute mystery as to where they go. About their lives, there's never been one spot satellite tagged. And the only way to bring the med back is to bring back the Mediterranean white shark. It will be by far the most difficult thing that we have ever done. Common belief, misbelief actually, that they are related to the Atlantic white shark population from the United States. They're actually closer related to the Hawaii population. Like I say, there's no borders when you're a shark, you go where you like. Chris Fisher is coming to Spain and France on the 29th of July to the 27th of August. And then he's moving up to Ireland on the 2nd of September to the 23rd. So they truly believe that they will be tagging white sharks either on the Northeast Atlantic, close to Ireland and British waters, or Mediterranean white sharks. Obviously we know there's white sharks in the Bay of Biscay. I can imagine they'll concentrate there. The closest great white shark to British waters was 177 nautical miles away from Penzance. It's a 100% possibility that they can be in our waters. If you're new to the channel, Loads of videos on here discussing all the intricate details, food sources, temperatures, etc. La Caruna, a couple of years ago, saw a rather large white shark cruising around. We know they're in Italy, we know they're in Spain, and we know they're in France. So I really think they stand a really good chance of tagging one. Now, these guys aren't just some Joe in a tiny boat like myself. I mean, I've just been out here deploying the submarine, caning it around for quite a while. Like I say, great time for dolphins and I would spot any sort of marine life. It's basking shark season as well. So it's a great time for me to be out. Obviously, if I see anything, you see it on the channel. But yeah, these guys aren't your average have a go hero. These are marine biologists, scientists with massive experience and their boat is not tiny. Now, it probably costs in the realms of $30,000 a day to run this boat. And over the course of this expedition, bear in mind, they've got to move it 4,000 miles. You're looking at one and a half to $2 million or pounds investment into this and they're going to use the research and the migratory patterns that they've learned from America and bring them here. Well, I think 2024 is super exciting because we've gotten so far in this puzzle off the east coast of the United States, and we've learned the pattern and rhythm of their lives and where they are and what they're doing. It's a common belief. I just heard thunder. <laughs> we've got a weather front moving in, so I best be quick. <laughs> Don't want to get caught in that. Anyway, it's a common belief that the Mediterranean white sharks do come up past Britain into Scotland to feed on our seal population. And I think that's probably why they're doing it in September, seal pupping season. Just remember, it only takes one white shark to be tagged in the Mediterranean and it'll go stratospheric. It'll be the most talked about shark since Jaws because they'll be really interested in where the shark goes. You know, you've seen the hysteria when the likes of Lydia looked like she was tracking to Ireland on the shark tracker from O-Search and also Nakumi, who disappeared in the middle of the Atlantic. Probably tag fell off around the Azores, you just don't know. Then we capture and tag the first white shark in history in that region with all the modern technology we have today. It'll be the shark herd around the world. These animals are critically endangered and we hope to take us from knowing almost nothing to knowing almost everything about their lives. It's not okay to just say the med's dead and just accept that. No, I'm going over there to inspire a continent. That's why. They did give me an invite to go on board. Last time I spoke to them, we'll have to see how that goes. Would, would you guys like me to cover on that front if I did go? The question is, if they did tag a shark, 
in the Mediterranean, say Italy or off Mallorca or something like that, where they're known to be, or even in the Bay of Biscay, where do you guys think they'll go? Do you think they'll go back to South Africa, across the Atlantic or up north Scotland way? It really, who knows? It's one of those, isn't it? I briefly want to talk about this uh, great white shark sighting. Now, the Kennedy News did actually get in touch with me and ask me to make comment on it. They, I think they wanted me to confirm that I thought it was a great white shark. So let's have a quick look. There is a video of it. A lady called Emily Rushton was on the beach with her family when she videoed this. I've covered this similar type of thing several times in the past. And uh, yes, uh, it does look like a shark fin. Is it a great white shark fin? Is it a Baskin shark? Is it a Mako shark? Let's just have a quick look at the video. So looking at the video, initially, again, this video is from Kennedy News. It looks like a shark fin, but those, I won't beat around the bush, who've seen these videos before on the channel, I can tell you right now, that's a seal bottling, which is basically when they sleep in the vertical position. It's very common. I've seen it in both the seal colonies, north and south of the island here on the island. Um, that's definitely not a shark. It doesn't move like a shark. It definitely isn't a shark, it's a seal. Anyway, Kennedy News didn't quote me because I went back and told them exactly what I thought it was, which is not gonna create any form of hysteria. Uh, but interestingly, Graham Pullen from uh, TA Fishing, looks like a real top bloke. He always seems to be commenting on them as well. And he did say he thought it was a white shark. I mean, what do you guys think? I definitely don't think it's a shark, guys. Um, I've looked at enough of these and I think I'm in a good place to discuss that. Anyway, only a quick video. I'm gonna stay out a little bit past dark Stick out my nav light shortly, I've got my head torch. But I'm looking to uh, deploy the sub a little bit more. And I'm also using Navionics to uh, check out the geographics of the seafloor, just to see if there's anywhere different. And also from the last video, where I nearly destroyed my boat, <laughs> I have just tried a speed test and I actually couldn't get anywhere near the same speed as I did the other day. I got 19 knots here, not 20. And they were considerably worse conditions, go figure. But Dave Thornley, a friend of mine, who has uh, dived that area where I was looking for a shipwreck. The Mercier has told me that it's actually a lot closer to the rocks, so I would suggest that wreck finder app is not very accurate. Other than that, I had to name the boat. I put it out there on Instagram because I need to register it for the slipway use, and uh, we've settled on Seawolf, which I quite like, actually. That sky's going very grey out there. I need to get back into a bit more of a sheltered area to deploy the sub and then get back. Hope you've enjoyed this brief shark video. I'm trying to keep them fairly brief and I will only post if it's something relevant and I think this is relevant. For those who haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, I did a video January, I think, a few, a few months back discussing O Searchers Expedition when they announced it. Let's get out of here. Catch you on the next video. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate you following along. Speak to you all guys soon. Cheers.